Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL Audit video on Security Auditing. During the course of this video, we're going to show you how to set up Apex SQL Audit to audit all SQL Server security-related events. Which events should be included in addition to events already labeled as security events in the application? In order to meet some regulatory standards, as well as how to set up alerting on specific security events, and how to extract the audited results to high-end reports centered on SQL Server and database security. Apex SQL Audit is a SQL Server auditing and compliance tool which audits nearly 200 SQL Server events and stores audited data inside a tamper-evident central repository database from which it can be extracted in the form of various pre-made or custom-built reports. To get the ball rolling, install Apex SQL Audit and start the application. First, let's add a SQL Server instance we want to audit by clicking on the Configure button in the main ribbon, followed by Add Server button in the Add SQL Server panel. Next, select a SQL Server instance or type the name manually in the Server Name drop-down menu and click Add. Finally, in the Server Properties, Provide valid credentials for user and password, and choose a location for the folder that will hold temporary files, and click OK. One important thing to know here is that adding a SQL Server instance has not initiated any auditing. It will commence only after the auditing filters have been specified and applied. Now, click on the SQL Server instance we want to audit in the Servers pane, which will show us server-level events and configuration options. Before we proceed further, let's quickly note that as with general security, we can differentiate between security levels. In our case, we have a SQL Server security level, as well as the database security level. SQL Server level in Apex SQL Audit, as mentioned before, is shown when the SQL Server instance is selected in the Servers panel. In order to set up security auditing, let's check the Security category which includes login-related events, server permission change events, trace-related events, and more. In addition to general security events on the server level, we need to add DDL changes for auditing. This is done in order to include alter, create, and drop operations of logins, server roles, server triggers credentials, and many other actual DDL operations, which could also be labeled as security-related events. With this, filters for a server security level have been completed. So let's now focus on database-level security. To set up database auditing, we need to add databases first by clicking on the Add Database button and checking all databases we need to audit. Now, each database will require separate setup and we will show how to set up security on the Adventure Works database. While the security category, which includes basic database security events, is an immediate choice, there are numerous events in other categories which should be included for security reasons. So inspecting all other categories is generally recommended to include all events that would help you comply with different compliance or company standards. Here is a quick list of events which are generally recommended for security auditing. Now that we've successfully decided on our filters, click on the Apply button and auditing will immediately commence. With this, the auditing setup has been put into motion, so we can give more attention to alerting and reporting. Setting up alerts is highly recommended for some critical security events, like database or server-wide permission changes and failed login attempts. To set up security alerts, click on the Manage Alerts button in the main application ribbon. Next, click on the New button and select Auditing Alert, which will initiate the Alert Creation Wizard. In the first step of the wizard, we can customize the general alert information starting with the name, subject, body, and severity level. Since the number of notifications is limited to one per minute by default, let's uncheck. Let's lift this limit in order to ensure we are immediately notified for each and every security issue. 
In the next step, we will choose the SQL Server instance the alert will apply to. And in the third step, we will define the alert condition. For example, we can specify to be alerted whenever database permissions are changed or server permissions have been revoked. Once the alert condition is finalized, we can choose to receive an email with alert details once it has been raised and complete the alert creation wizard. From this moment on, every time an alert condition is met, a new alert will be raised to avert our attention to these specific events. Now that we've set up our security auditing and alerting, we can finally check how to extract the audited data and create high-value reports. To begin with, go to the Reports tab to access the reports. Even though auditing reports can be generated in standalone Apex SQL Audit Reports applications, which allows users to generate reports from their workstations on any machine within the local network or a domain, we'll show how to create reports from the application GUI. As can be seen in the list of common Apex SQL Audit reports, there are already several built-in, out-of-the-box reports that are centered on security. The Security Configuration History Report provides history of changes on SQL Server logins, roles, and users, and shows changes on password and username, a created or dropped entity, and entity permission changes. The Logon Activity History Report shows all logins, both successful and failed. The Permission Changes Report shows any permission changes on monitored security entity. The Unauthorized Access Report will show only failed login attempts. In addition to those, some other built-in reports can be used as security reports, such as the Access History Report which will show a full history of user access to databases and tables. For advanced users, or those that require it, custom reports will allow them to create fully customizable security reports, which can be saved and reused at any given time. Additionally, reports can be exported and exchanged between main application and any Apex SQL Audit standalone applications. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.